is Taco Tuesday. Join me in the kitchen today as I prepare homemade Mexican tacos. Tacos are to Mexico what doubles is to Trinidad and Tobago. It's one of the most popular street foods in Mexico. A taco is a traditional Mexican dish which usually consists of a small soft corn tortilla topped with meat and garnished with fresh cilantro and onion and different types of salsa, guacamole and fresh lime juice. It's folded and eaten by hand, just like how we eat our doubles. Today, I'm preparing some Tex-Mex Trini tacos, if that's a thing. And we picked up some cilantro lime chicken breast and some spicy seasoned chicken thighs. And that's not all, I'm also making some scrumptious pepper shrimp. Instead of the traditional corn tortillas, I'm making some flour tortillas, and these are just like roti. I made these pepper shrimp tacos recently on a live cooking video with Badawi of Ita Food, so make sure you subscribe to Ita Food to see Badawi's homemade taco recipe as well as some other great content. The link to his channel is in the description box below. Join me in the kitchen today and let's make some tacos. Happy Taco Tuesday! Here I have the ingredients for the roasted tomato salsa which is similar to tomato chuka. I'm using tomatoes, onion, habanero peppers, garlic, serrano and jalapeno peppers. Brush with oil and place them onto the grill. These can be roasted on the stove over an open flame or in the oven at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once the ingredients are nice and charred and they seem cooked, take them off the grill. Now Kevin is grilling up the chicken breast and the thighs and I wish you could smell what I'm smelling right now. While he works on the meat, I'm going back in the kitchen to make the salsa and prep the shrimp. To make the salsa, I'm adding everything that we just grilled outside along with some cilantro, lime juice, salt and some cumin or jeera powder and you want to make sure it's the plain one and not the roasted jeera. My mini chopper is set on the puree setting so I'm blending it until it has a nice smooth consistency. Look at that, it's like a pepper sauce and a tomato choker in one. Now that the roasted tomato salsa is ready, let's work on the shrimp. I have some shrimp here that's been washed already and deveined, but the shells are still on. I bought it fresh from the seafood market and soaked it in a salt water brine to freeze it. This actually prevents the shrimp from drying out or losing flavor while it's in the freezer. I added one tablespoon of sea salt to four cups of water and added some of the salt water to each bag of shrimp. Try it and let me know how it works for you. Wash it a few times and remove the shells. To season the shrimp, I'm adding salt, black pepper, some scotch bonnet pepper powder, two teaspoons of chili flakes, one tablespoon of green seasoning, freshly grated ginger, one teaspoon of oyster sauce, a tablespoon of ketchup, and a drizzle of dark soy sauce. I'm mixing it well to combine everything. Finish with a drizzle of hot sesame oil and let it marinate and soak up all those flavors for about 10 minutes. Now that the chicken is ready and rested, Kevin is cutting it up into smaller pieces. I was actually snacking on the chicken while he cut, I just couldn't wait for the tacos to be ready and my belly was in my hand too. I 
I put the shrimp in the fridge to marinate a little longer because the tortillas, the pico de gallo and the guacamole are not ready yet. First, I'll cut up the tomatoes for the pico de gallo. Pico de gallo is a traditional Mexican salsa and it's also called salsa fresca. Traditionally, it includes tomato, onion, serrano peppers, girao cumin, lime juice, cilantro and salt. I'm using the ingredients that are traditionally added with the addition of garlic, shadow or culantro, jalapeno and scotch bonnet pepper and I actually excluded the cumin powder. To make the guacamole or what we call zabuca choca in Trinbago, I'm mashing a zabuca or an avocado and adding some salt and lime juice to it. Kevin actually added some freshly cracked black pepper later on. I absolutely love cutting into a perfectly ripe zabuca. It's so satisfying. The things that make foodies happy, eh? Now I have to make the tortillas. To the mixing bowl, I'm adding four cups of flour. Two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of bacon powder. And two tablespoons of lard. And it should start to resemble breadcrumbs. I'll do a video soon that's specifically on making tortillas. Once everything's worked into the dough, add some hot water. Not boiling, but just hot. This will help the gluten to relax and reduce the resting time for the dough. Knead the dough for about 2 minutes until it's nice and soft. Cover with a damp paper towel and let it sit for about 10 minutes. In this time, I'll do some cleanup. Now it's time to make the small dough balls or the loyas. With 4 cups of flour, I usually get 24 tortillas. Separate the big dough into 4 and then each piece into 6. Roll out the dough into a thin disc and place it onto a tower or a pan on medium heat and cook it for about 30 seconds on each side. Sometimes it swells and other times it won't and that's fine. Once it's cooked properly, it's edible. Make sure you don't overcook it or it'll get hard. Place the cooked tortillas onto slightly damp paper towels and then wrap it in foil and into a kitchen towel. Once they're wrapped properly, the tortillas will remain soft. These can be refrigerated and reheated on the tower or a pan, or it can be wrapped in foil and warmed at 350 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven. 
and I don't suggest using the microwave because the tortillas tend to dry out and get hard. Lastly, I'll cook the pepper shrimp. Add some oil to a pan on medium high heat. Add the seasoned shrimp in and let it cook for about 3 minutes. Turn the heat off and leave the shrimp in there for one minute more to cook in the residual heat. Now it's my favorite part, it's time to eat. We have our tortillas, the pepper shrimp and the grilled chicken breast and thighs, the traditional cilantro and onion topping, some roasted tomato salsa, pico de gallo, guacamole or zavoca choca, some sour cream and I also have this soca sauce that I made using mayo, sour cream, green seasonings, scotch bonnet pepper, cumin or jeera and a few other ingredients. I have chopped lettuce, grated cheese and some lime wedges. Assemble the tacos and enjoy!
You can use whatever toppings you prefer or just use ingredients you already have at home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed making tacos with me today. Make sure you let me know what type of tacos I should make next week Tuesday and let me know what are your favorite type of tacos and your favorite toppings. Thanks so much for spending time with me in the kitchen today. I hope to see you again next time. Stay happy and healthy. Bye!